published, 2107 EDT, the 10th of April 2018, updated, 507 EDT, the 11th of April 2018 the Ministry of Justice is reportedly looking at ways to dramatically increase the use of chemical castration on sex offenders and pedophiles. Justice Minister Philip Lee, who is also a GP, is said to be interested in the idea as a means of safely releasing certain offenders from prison and back into society. Dr. Lee is keen to find an evidence-based approach to returning prisoners to normal life and is aware that international studies have shown chemical castration is effective. Dr. Lee is keen to find an evidence-based approach to returning prisoners to normal life and is aware that international studies have shown chemical castration is effective via source within the Moy told the Daily Express. Dr. Lee knows this is controversial but the medication is voluntary although it can be linked to an increased chance of getting parole. There is a debate over the effectiveness of the courses but very little doubt that chemical castration works. Essentially, libido suppressing medications in tandem with psychological therapies are more effective than what is generally being attempted currently. The source added that the treatment is especially important for pedophiles because pedophilia is like a disease and destroys lives apostrophe dot it comes after the scandal surrounding convicted rapist john war boyce who was due for release by a parole board until the high court overturned their decision it comes after the scandal surrounding convicted rapist john war boyce pictured who was due for release by a parole board until the high court overturned their decision war boyce was on an indeterminate sentence a status that applies to over a thousand other inmates who will soon be due for parole. But there are fears that, should these prisoners be denied release, there will not be enough space in jails to hold them. Chemical castration, therefore, is being considered as a way to safely release the offenders while decreasing the chance of them re-offending. About 120 sex offenders have volunteered for the treatment but that number is believed to be 10 times smaller than it could be. There are thought to be around 70,000 registered sex offenders in the UK, Sweden, Denmark, the USA, Australia, Canada, Poland and South Korea are among the countries around the world to practice chemical castration of sex offenders.